Okay guys, here's the notes on scatter plots. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. Scatter plots are all done in the calculators, or at least all the information that you need is found in the calculator. Kind of like we were doing with the, um, you know, the, the stat button and entering all the data. It's similarly related to that. In fact, some of the buttons that you push will be the same. So with scatter plots in the calculator, here's how you enter the data. This hasn't changed a whole lot. You push the stat button, you hit enter, just like we've been doing. Stat, enter, you get to this screen. Now the difference is that we're gonna be entering two sets of data. So we're gonna use the L1 and the L2. Remember, if you don't have L1 and L2 on your screen, just reset your calculator. So we'll be entering data in here and also in here. Before you do that, you have to turn on your diagnostics. You're gonna to wanna to push second and zero. Zero because that's where the catalog is. We need to go to the catalog. So you push second zero, and you're gonna have this screen, the catalog. Then you need to scroll down until you see diagnostic on. So you scroll all the way down. It takes a little while to get there, but once you turn it on, you don't have to do it every single time. So diagnostic on, and you need to hit enter two times until you see the word done. That lets you know that your diagnostic is turned on. So you push enter twice. As far as writing an equation, this is known as the line of best fit. When you push the stat button again, after you've entered your data, you go right to the calc. And you're gonna go ahead and push the four button and enter and plug in the values for A and B. And then lastly, getting to know about your R value. Your R value is known as the correlation coefficient. You're not gonna see this value unless you've turned on the diagnostic, all right? As far as R value being strong or weak, it's stronger when it's closest to one or negative one, basically between these numbers. If it's between 0.95 and one, or negative 0.95 and negative one, then that's a strong correlation coefficient. 